I'm gonna surprise Eric Dick of Drums with the vlog. I'll see what he's, he's gonna be like. Oh my God, the vlog's back. Cause I literally haven't vlogged in ages. Hey, sup? What's up, man? Hey, yo, is this Josh Butts vlog? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the Josh Butts vlog. Yeah. Where are you up to? Uh, I'm going to get a special thing, a secret thing. Don't tell them what it is. Man, this stuff feels so weird vlogging. I haven't vlogged in ages. I'm like struggling to talk to the camera. What are you getting? Huh? What are you getting? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, genuinely, I've kind of like forgotten how to film myself. So it's been a while since I last made a vlog and that's for various reasons. Yeah, I just lost the spark for YouTube. I'm trying to get it back. So I just thought I'd make this video. I'd share what's going on over the next few days and this this exciting thing that I'm, I'm going to get right now. So let, let's go and get it. So I'm reminded how hard vlogging is because you try to capture like aesthetic footage of these things, but you, you just can't because like filming in public and talking to the camera in public is like one of the hardest things to do. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> it's, it's not a big surprise. I don't know why I'm like, oh, what is this thing, special thing I'm getting? Business cards. I got business cards made. I'm officially a professional, I guess. Except it's for uh, my other name, Joshua St. Clair. Um, that's my more professional name. Josh Botts is my more casual name. So I was just heading back to the flat, but um, apparently my dog Birdie just got a haircut and he looks goofy as. Okay, let's see this dog. Oh, Edward. Hi. I didn't expect to see you. We want to see the dog, not you. <laughs> Well, he's not coming running. Oh, the cat's in the way. He's not gonna come. Okay. Oh. oh no! Birdie! I don't know what to do with himself. Oh my god! Come here. Oh, this is literally he looks way different. Oh. Oh my gosh! Look. See that? Yeah, Edward's definitely scared. Oh, you need <laughs> oh. Sir, excuse me. Sir, do you or anyone you know need piano lessons? Sir, I'm, sir, I need a response. Excuse me, sir. Do you or anyone you know need piano lessons? Okay, so I wanted to share with you this vlog conundrum that I've been experiencing and why I haven't been vlogging. I've been facing this conundrum, okay? There was this really cool thing that happened a few weeks ago, my band Emily Alice. We recorded an EP and that's an awesome thing. And of course, I'm like, oh yeah, I can't wait to vlog this, right? So we go into the studio on Monday and we set everything up. And the problem is though, is we're all on headphones. And so if I was filming that, if I was filming that, you can't hear anything because, you know, you can only hear on the headphones. You, you, all you would hear is just like drums. And for some reason in my mind, I was like, I was thinking like, this is just dumb. This is not going to make for good content. So I didn't film anymore. I did the intro, you know, I was like, hey, welcome back to the Josh Bath vlog. And uh, we, we're going to film, an, we're going to do an EP this week. But I didn't proceed with the vlog because I was like, oh, this is just not going to look good on camera. But guess what? As the week progressed, there were so many opportunities when there was music. Like I was recording an actual piano, I could have filmed that. Toby was doing his acoustic guitar part. In the studio, we were doing like tracking, um, overdubs and stuff. And there was just so much good content throughout that week. But I got to a point when I'm like, wow, I didn't film any of this. So it's, it's already too late and I've missed the opportunity. And there was another another time, literally just on the weekend, we, we went to Wanaka for a gig and that was awesome. You know, it was the same thing where I'm like, oh no, I'm not gonna vlog this. But there were moments when I'm like, wait, this would be so good on camera. I wish I was vlogging this, but it was already too late by then, right? I'd, I'd already missed the opportunity. But the conundrum lies in this other thought that counteracts that first one that's like, hang on a second, by not vlogging it, I'm able to experience the moment in a more pure way. I don't have to like grab my phone and film everything. 
Because it, it is quite exhausting sometimes having to film everything when you are vlogging, like I do. You kind of have to capture everything on camera and sometimes you're like, you don't want to miss the good moments. So you always want to have your phone ready and it's just this extra thing that you have to think about in your mind. I, the conundrum is thinking like, ah, oh, this, you know, I love vlogging, I love documenting these stories, like, you know, recording our EP, like that's such a big moment for the band. And, you know, I've been documenting the band's journey over the past few years, just from my perspective. Recording an EP, that's such a big moment. And I'm like, oh, gosh, I wish I documented that. Same with the Wanaka trip. I wish I documented that. I wish I made that video and shared that story, but I didn't. But at the same time, I was able to enjoy it. I was able to be there more in the moment. And so this is the conundrum I'm facing. I, I, I still can't decide like <laughs> which one's better. Is it better to just be there in the moment and not make any videos out of it? Not try to not try to like capitalize on it for any reason, for any artistic value or anything and just be there in the moment and enjoy it? Or do you document the, the journey? Do you, do you adopt that extra little bit of stress in your mind to film everything and make a story out of it, make a piece of art out of it, make a video out of it? That's the conundrum that I'm facing. That is the problem with vlogging. Okay, so just an update. Here I am in this room on Vogel Street, which is where I live. And I'm, I'm looking to start teaching, right? I, I showed you the business cards already. And like, this is a room and my, my drum tutor, uh, my drum teacher, Doug at uni. Uh, just a quick correction. I meant to say keyboard tutor, but I, I think I said drum tutor because Marcel, the drummer, he literally just started playing the drums then. So I think you know what I mean. He's hooked me up with his, his drummer and he's next door and, and he's, he's um, showed me this room that's available. This is insane. This is actually insane. So, so with university finishing, the question is like, what are we going to do next? What's next? Am I just going to work a full-time job and forget about music? You know, no, we've got to make music work. We've literally got to make music work. We've got to do something in music. That's the whole goal. Of course, I'm thinking about like, okay, what is the best way to monetize music? It's to teach music. And it's a whole facet of being a musician that I haven't fully delved into yet, you know? But but see, but see, the problem that I've been dealing with is that I can't really teach here in my bedroom. It's just not ideal. But guess what? That room is absolutely perfect and it's right over the road. Oh my god. Oh, you've got a, what happened? It's <laughs> horrific. <laughs> Car breaking down. It literally broke down in front of Central Library and everyone watched it. We're already late to sound check and all of the gear is here. I'm just gonna do a quick montage here of the times that cars have broken down as we've tried to get to gigs. That's life! Hey. <laughs> well that's very unfortunate. The Caldina has died. Car troubles part two. No, that's not funny. Sorry. No, this is not good. This is ridiculous. It's happened again. What the hell? Bro, that is fully cooked. What the heck? We're cursed. We're ridiculous. never coming back to Queenstown. How long do we have until the gig? If you cry, if you literally sob every <laughs> single time this happens to an Emily Alves. <laughs> Toby, guess what happened? You'll A car never, broke down. You will never guess <laughs> what happened. So welcome back to Catacombs. We've been here before. Excuse me, sir, do you or anyone you know need piano lessons, sir? That's a lot in here, sir. Can I have a cocktail? Get someone to come out and have a look. Yes, no problem. Do you have your membership number handy? I don't. <laughs> what? what? Damn. No way, That's dude. Ruthless. That's so rude. Hi there. I, I was just getting in touch because my car's broken down. Sure, okay. And do you have a current AA membership, please? Your membership was only valid till 2020, so... Bruh. Car Troubles, episode three. Oh. It wasn't me. <laughs> Let's go. I remind you that this is the reality of being a musician, being in a band. <laughs>
This is what they don't show you. This is what they don't tell you. The dark truth about being a musician. What's up, Jakira? Oh, sorry. I feel like you're in pain. You can vlog as much as you want, bro. Oh, you're struggling with a car issue? Oh, let me film that. Five minutes, I'm getting a little bit nervous. One of this, I'm the session musician for Emily. No, I got a wish band. I swear, I'm a support musician. All right.